What's up, y'all? Action Matt here. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. And uh, look, I got my Fred Flintstone on today. I don't know where Bedrock Motors Incorporated is located, but super digging the hoodie. Uh, today's, today's little adventure is kind of different from the last one. In the last one, I brought you some pater that I had dug out of the out of the lake somewhere on a random kayaking adventure got my gold pans here i got a uh a big one and a little one what we have here is some coker genuine coker creek deluxe pay dirt here and it's guaranteed to have gold in it and i found my actual snuffer bottle so I thought about panning the gold out of here. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is what I had done another time testing to see if there was anything in it. And I didn't find anything. And I still have this left, this large bag here. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through this today with you guys. And as you can see, Coker Creek Deluxe Pay Dirt. So we're gonna run through this and see what we can find. We get a little dawn in here to reduce the surface tension surfactant. So it's, I don't know what the word is, but get a little in there and it helps break up the surface tension so that the gold, because Coker Creek has placer gold or placer, however you want to say it. So it's like light and flaky, light flaky the gold is. And this is all the extra that I had already went through. So let's go ahead and set that right there. Hopefully we got enough water. And our tote thing here, we might not. We might have to get more water. All right, we'll start with that right there. Quite a bit to go through. So we'll do a little bit here and uh, I don't know if we'll be able to, yeah, we might need a little bit more water. I see any gold right off the rip? I do not. I see stuff that may be gold, but it's hard to tell. Kind of hard to tell. Go ahead and mix it up a little bit here. Try to get some of that big stuff off. get them out of dirt what I'm trying to do is get all the heavies to the bottom so I can see what kind of black sands there might be and then I'll suck up all those black sands and run through them at the end let's see Bunch of blondes, bunch of blondes. A 
Get that right amount of water in there. Now, I always save the cons. I don't know if you can see it. I might have to get some close-ups. But what, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bunch of garnets. A bunch of little red garnets. Right there. I don't see any gold as of yet, but... I always keep the concentrates. Oh, there's a little piece of gold right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right there at the end of my finger. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set that right there and get my, my sniffer bottle out here. Get some of the water. Alright, and then I'm going to suck up that little piece of gold. Hopefully I got it. Alright, let's see about the rest here. Clean this dude out. No garnets. No gold. Supposed to be a decent amount of gold in this, I think. For the uh, Coker Creek to sell it, I think they put some in it. I just don't know to what extent they put it in it. Because obviously I'll dry all this out. And then all this residue stuff I'll keep. Just because I'm... For one, I'm a hoarder. And for two, I'm a hoarder. So... This is some of the unchecked right here. And you can... This is like a 10-pound bag or something. I don't know. It was a... It was a good amount. Five, 10-pound bag. That's some... Uh, natural stuff in there there's i seen a big rock so there's a couple heavies that'll make their way to the top there uh, dirty dirty quartz looks like maybe some fish scales
Look, here's your first perfect example right here. Probably the biggest chunk I've ever found. Love you, buddy. All right, that's it guys. That's everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean all this out, get some fresh water, and then we'll go through what's in here. I'll break out the little one for this. For the black sands, we'll break the little one out, do a little cleaning. Clean this out just a hair so we're not getting any of this stuff mixed up in our, our black sands. Probably should have done this a few minutes ago. But, in the fashion of things, if your life is in order, you're not happy. You know? So, life has to be somewhat out of order for happiness to come. Right? Maybe. I don't know. That. Being a good problem solver. That's what you got to work towards. Being a good problem solver. Yes. You see? Being able to solve problems. Okay. Here's what's about to happen. I'm about to... Bam! Bubbles. And then we're gonna mix that a little bit. Get that serpentation, traction, whatever you wanna call it. Ah, uh, can't remember how to say it. All right, now we're gonna take, try to empty out this dirty water so that we're not fighting with the the gross stuff. Just to clean. Just to clean. And you can see the one piece for sure right there. So I'm hoping that for $20 in this thing right here that we got a little more than just the one picker it's a good piece of gold but did we pay twenty dollars for that
Let's hope not. You know, it won't be hard to tell though. It will not be hard to tell. And of course, we have our picker. And it's just barely a picker. I can just barely pick it up. So we're going to go ahead and stick this into here. You hear it? Well, slightly disappointing. Three tiny flakes of gold. Well. Well, that was a bust. 20 bucks. Coker Creek Deluxe Pay Dirt. I got a tiny little picker. I'll show you. I'll dr I'll dry everything out and I'll give you the weight at the end. I got this slightly purplish looking rock. And the one little picker. That one little piece of gold. I searched this whole bag. That's crap. GPAA Prospectors of America Coker Creek. You're lucky I didn't I didn't pan this out when I bought it. I'd be upset. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this as I showed you just now the, one -tenth the of weight. A gram. I don't know uh, the little bitty picker because the other two little pieces ain't even going to show up. They don't. That's fly poop. It's not going to show up at all. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment. And let me know of a better a better pay dirt that I can pick up. There's just not a lot of gold around here. And that was from Coker Creek and there was no natural gold in it. I think that's a picker that they put in it to guarantee that there's something. So not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. I know for a fact that the first part that I panned out two years ago had no gold in it. I, I have all my gold that I've ever kept separated separately and where it came from and what it is, what bag of pay dirt or where in the state of Tennessee it came from. So very unsatisfied with that. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and tell all your friends about Action Math.